hi and welcome to today's video today we will see the last type of life cycle seen in algae that is the diplobiontic life cycle this life cycle is the one in which the haploid phase is followed by two successive diploid generation and this type of life cycle is found in the algae polysiphonia we have to study the type polysiphonia in detail so the type of alternation or the type of life cycle seen in polysiphonia is diplobiontic in this life cycle the plant body is the haploid and multicellular gametophyte we have the haploid and multicellular gametophyte that is the male and female gametophyte both these produce haploid gametes by gametogenic mitosis the we can see the male gametophyte and female gametophyte both are the independent gametophytes they are multicellular independent gametophytes and they produce gametes male gamete and female gamete both these gametes fuse and fertilization occurs and forms the diploid zygote the zygote is short living and it divides mitotically and forms a branching and filamentous structure that is the carposporophyte the same as we studied in the haplobiontic life cycle here in this case carposporophyte is diploid while in the previous case it was haploid so this carposporophyte is formed which is a branching filamentous structure and remains attached to the gametophyte it is not independent but it is attached to the gametophyte the carposporophyte produces diploid carpospores by sporogenic mitosis diploid carpospores are formed and these carpospores germinate and form diploid tetrasporophyte tetrasporophyte plants Th that one is another independent plant that is independent and that is not attached to the gametophyte these plants produce tetrasporangia and these tetrasporangias produce tetraspores inside the tetrasporangia through the division that is a reduction division meiosis occurs and they produce tetraspores and these spores germinate to form the haploid gametophyte so that is the life cycle once again i repeat in this type of life cycle called diplobiontic life cycle diplobiontic the name indicates because it has two successive diploid generation the haploid generation or the haploid phase is followed by two successive diploid generation that is the carposporophyte and the tetrasporophyte two diploid generations are there and coming to the life cycle we have the gametophyte independent multicellular gametophyte is there female and male gametophytes both these are haploid hence the name hence named as gametophyte and these gametophytes produce gametes both these gametes fuse and produce diploid zygote this diploid zygote undergoes mitosis and produce a multicellular filamentous branched structure that is not independent but still attached to the gametophyte and we name it as carposporophyte it is the diploid phase and this carposporophyte produces carposporangias and inside this carposporangia diploid spores are produced these diploid spores germinate and form tetrasporophyte which is another independent diploid phase second diploid phase comes that is the tetrasporophyte and this is independent one this tetrasporophyte produces tetrasporangias and inside the tetrasporangias they undergo reduction division and after meiosis they produce haploid spores that is named as tetraspores these tetraspores germinate and produce the male and female 